friends, hello and welcome back. Everyone is having a lovely day. So we are diving into the season one, chapter two, team affinity programs. We're gonna go over the players we think are the best ones to target in this particular program. As always, you know, you're welcome to pick any player, you want make any choice you want. But if you're looking for some recommendations, uh, here we are. And for us personally, we're really venturing into uh, really two divisions, but we will take a look at one player in AL Central. Uh, I am a fan of as well, but really we're, we're centered on two divisions. I mean, Stephen Kwan, great contact, none of power. Uh, you know, Schultz doesn't throw over a hundred. Verlander, same story. Is it good? Uh, Gordon? No, Gordon's pretty balanced. Um, then there's Emmanuel Rodriguez. Rodriguez is one we like. Uh, 90 plus power on both sides, 80 plus contact on both sides. He's a double diamond. He comes with speed in a center fielder. And you know, we're still early in the game where it is a little tougher to come by some players like that. And double diamonds are so, so important in this game, especially, you know, in the middle of your field of all places. So guys, a little bit of speed they can also hit. I really like the Amina Rodriguez if you make progress in the AL Central. But after that, I mean, we're going to the AL West. We're gonna grind out some AOS players. There's a couple of them out here. JR Richard, slider, four seamer, cutter, two seamer. Those over 100. Anytime you get a pitcher that can throw 102 plus, gotta have them on the rotation. And, you know, Richard's gonna make it for that reason 99 velocity, 99 break. So I like um, we can get out of JR Richard here. Tim Solomon, gold, uh, diamond, gold. Not, not too bad of a card there for Solis either. Jacob Wilson's got the double diamond. Again, at shortstop, not a lot of power. So you're concerned about Daniel Vogelback. He's got the power, doesn't have the contact. There's Mitch Garver. Now, Mitch Garver's a great uh, great option here. He's got the silver defense. Not as big defensively as a catcher, but, you know, a plus for a catcher as well because, again, early in the year. But look at that power and contact. 105 plus on both sides. 98 power. 89 against the Lethys. Uh, you know, a little, is he shorter than Gary Sanchez? How tall is Gary Sanchez? I'd say if you didn't get that Gary Sanchez, you know, that'd be an excellent one to choose from. Let's see what Gary Sanchez actually looked like. 108 by 117. Sanchez a little better power-wise, but not as consistent on both sides. And he was a double diamond. So if you didn't get that Gary Sanchez, I mean, even if you did, you know, you're going to get a substantial upgrade from the left side of the plate there. Definitely love getting that Garver. But they're going to go to the NL Central. And a little bit of a homer. I'll be honest here, but you gotta get the Rob Dibbs, baby. Closers that throw over a hundred right now, still kind of at a premium. Um, and why not get the nasty boy himself, one of the nasty boys himself, Rob Dibble. If there was 102, he's got the cork there, he's got the cutter, he's got the slider. The one thing you do worry about is, uh, you know, he doesn't have that curveball or changeup. But still being with 100 has some movement, has some good movement, if I'm mistaken, right? 99 by 99, indeed. His 125 pitching clutch, also something very important to have in this game, even if you just want to bring him in for a batter or two. And then we're looking at, was it, was it Michael Bush? Michael Bush, Michael Bush. Uh, he's pretty solid. Was it Michael Bush? I think it was, no, it might have been Greg Vaughn. Greg Vaughn, I mean, I honestly like him a lot. <laughs> Uh, besides Josh Bell and his common player right there. Uh, yeah, well, there's some great players in this division. You know, you go Greg Vaughn, 102 plus on both sides, 95 by 85. Silver fielder, you know, knocks him down just a tad. But he's got 98 clutch. Solid, solid card. And then, you know, Michael Bush again, common. Not, you know, first baseman, not as big of a concern. Not as strong against the lefties. But, you know, I, I'd, I'd probably go definitely go with that Vaughn instead. Uh, you know, Greg Vaughn, Rob Dibble out of the NL Central. And hey, again, if you want, eventually you probably unlock some of these other uh, divisions just by playing. But if you're, if you're looking instantly to upgrade that team, that's the direction we're going here. As always, like I said, you know. Try some players out, share the reviews in a comment section. Sometimes they don't play as well as advertised in this game, you know, statistically wise. And it's good to kind of share insights and how it's, uh, players have worked out for you guys with everybody else, you know, gather some opinions. Nonetheless, as always, though, if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate you liking and subscribing. You never have to. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.